I'm going to show you how you can take a single leaf from a succulent, such as this Echeveria here, and turn it into a whole other plant in a few simple steps. Let's begin. So this is one of the easiest things you can do. All you need is just a healthy Echeveria plant. You need something to put some soil in. So I just got this uh, used takeaway box. Just gonna repurpose it, a spray bottle, and then just some nice free draining soil. This is just compost mixed with perlite and a few other bits and pieces. Make it really nice and free draining so that the potting soil doesn't hold on to too much moisture. That's the key here. All we need to do, first we're gonna fill our container with soil. That's the first step. So you don't need loads, just a nice base layer of soil. So that's all you need, like so. And then you want to pre-moisten the soil just with your spray bottle. You don't want to make it soggy. Just want to give it a good few sprays just to moisten the soil lightly. You don't want it pooling at the bottom of this. And that'll do it. So this plant, as it gets older, it goes taller and it sheds its lower leaves. So if we take these leaves off early, it doesn't really matter because they're going to fall off anyway. And we're going to have to end up cutting it and replanting it. I've got a video on how you can do that to fix a leggy succulent. So we can take advantage of the way it grows and we can take a few of these healthy bottom leaves. I wouldn't take these crispy ones because obviously that's not going to propagate. That's not going to do anything. We won't be able to turn that into a plant. So we can just discard these. But these healthy ones at the bottom, we can carefully just remove them. They come off fairly easily. So I'll do maybe three, three or four, see how I get on. So we can set that to one side. I've got five leaves and this is just a really dead simple process. All you want to do is just put it so that the, the end that you took off the stem, that end wants to be in soil. All you need to do is just press it in like that, give it a light press, and that's it. As simple as that. So we can go around and fill our container. So I'll put another one next to that one, like so. And in these, we'll develop roots within a few weeks, probably, I'd imagine, three or four weeks. And then from there, We'll get the beginnings of a plant starting to sprout. And that's all there is to it. Keep this in a really bright spot. Doesn't mind having direct sun and these should develop roots. Try and keep the soil relatively moist. Don't let it go soggy. Don't pour water in there. Just give it a few sprays every now and then just to keep up the moisture on the soil. Try not to get water on the actual leaves, but around the soil. If you do get a couple of splashes on the, uh, on the leaves, there's no real biggie, and that'll develop into a plant. So in true Blue Peter style, this is one I made earlier, a few weeks ago. And as you can see, I've got five leaf cuttings in here, and I think most of them have got plants forming some, at some degree or another. So this is probably the most developed one here. Looks really nice, a nice rosette. So that's gonna turn into a plant like that. It might take a while, it does, it does grow fairly slowly, but you know, if we're patient enough, we've got three plants in our hands. This one is looking quite good as well. Got the beginnings of one there, so it's a little bit slower to catch on, but just starting to develop. Same with that one there. And then that one as well, a little bit more developed than those two, but still not as big as that one. So that's the biggest success rate. So if we pull this out, we can kind of see how it develops. As you can see, the roots develop into the soil and then a new plant sprouts from that point. So eventually what's going to happen, that's going to develop into a larger plant. And then this leaf that we use will eventually shrivel up and die its use will be finished. So then we just pull that off and that will leave that to continue to grow. 
If you want to know how you can turn a single supermarket basil pot into an endless supply of free basil, then click on the link here and I'll show you how you can grow unlimited basil forever in a few simple steps. I'll see you there and thanks for watching.